Good morning, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Video Announcements. Today is Thursday, February 13th, and today is National Cheddar Day. Yes, Cheddar Cheese first rolled into the being in the village of Cheddar in Somerset, England in the 12th century. I did not know there was a city named Cheddar. While Cheddar accounts for more than a third of all cheese sold in the United States, it is a royal hit in UK where it was created. In fact, half, more than half the cheese sales in the United Kingdom are Cheddar sales, so... We'll get you a little cheddar today. All right, can everyone please stand and face the flag, and we'll begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you very much. You may be seated. All right, we have another special announcement from Mr. King right now. Sycamore Junior High, it's Mr. King again, continuing our talk on uh, expectations here at Sycamore Junior High. I wanted to continue our discussion and pick up where we left off talking about our dress code. We need to remember there are no co coats in class. Um, a big one, no hoods, head coverings, or hoodies, or hats in the building. We are far enough into the school year that everyone should know that when you enter the building, take your hoodie down. Okay, adults don't need to keep reminding you to do that, but we will be there to remind you. Um, also, no pajamas, loungewear, or slippers. Your backpack must be kept in your locker, and no blankets. If you're cold, wear a coat, please. Okay, um, leggings are permitted, but cannot be torn or sheared. See-through clothing is not permitted. No messages that are inappropriate on your clothing, and again, Make sure the hood on your sweatshirt is down when you are in our building. Remember, freedom with responsibility. We need you to lead by example, make wise choices, follow the rules, respect the school staff, one another, and respect yourself. When you think of those top five code of conduct violations we discussed earlier in the week, apply this to those and we can eliminate a lot of the referrals that we're seeing in the office, okay? The main thing we also want you to hear is if you see something, say something. Let an adult know. Let us help, okay? We can do that for sure. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up today. Uh, this will be my last announcement, and the last thing I wanted to talk about was 8th grade day. So 8th graders, you need to listen very, very closely. 8th grade day is May 20th. It's an absolutely awesome day of fun at the Blue Ash Rec Center. There's swimming, dancing, inflatables, sports. Uh, great food, time with friends, your favorite teachers pretending they are young and athletic challenge you to more fun than they, more fun than they are. Okay? It's a day, a day away from the classroom, but there are some guidelines. Starting today, any 8th grade student who gets suspended for one day or more, you will not be able to participate in 8th grade day, as well as up until eighth grade day, if you are failing one class, that could be any class, if you're failing one, you will not be able to participate. So both of those combined or each of them separately will eliminate you from the ability to do eighth grade day. And we want all eighth graders to go and enjoy this because it is an absolute day of fun. Okay? So remember, let's be respectful, responsible, safe, and a problem solver in all aspects of our day. Let's listen to the staff. Let's take our job seriously of learning. And we will wrap up this school year quicker than what you think will happen. So have a great day. See ya. All right, any eighth grade boy interested in playing soccer at the high school next year, you're going to have an informational meeting on Thursday, February 20th, during Flex in Mr. Tanaka's room in room 240. There you'll meet the head varsity soccer coach from the high school, Coach Fallon. Questions? See Mr. Tanaka in room 240. All right, we keep telling you, we keep pumping up Showtime 2020. All right, we don't want you to miss this. So some of your fellow students and your staff is going to put on a little uh, variety show. The staff will be putting on their version of the Mass Singer. Now, before we get into that, some details. Remember, pre-sale tickets are $5. Tickets at the door are $7. That'll be next Wednesday, February 19th at 7 o'clock in the Junior High Auditorium. Now, we were able to score a big interview yesterday with one of the performances performers in the Mass Singer competition. 
So to pump up the uh, variety show, we're going to show this interview right now. That's all for me. Stay tuned for the interview, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, Sycamore Junior High on Wednesday, Wednesday, February 19th, we will be have the annual variety show. And in the variety show, the teachers are going to be doing a special masked singer competition. Okay, so we've been able, we got lucky, we've been able to get one of those teachers here, identity unknown, I don't even know who it is, and they're going to tell us a little bit about their act. So could you share with us what you're going to do? Um... Okay. Um, wow, that sounds really cool. I don't know what that was, but that sounded really interesting and everything. And exactly how does this competition work? Okay. All right, so it sounds like a bunch of people are going to go up there singing. Their identities will be masked. And then eventually we'll have a couple celebrity guests, celebrity judges, pick the winner of the competition. Does that sound accurate? Are you picking your nose? Seriously? On camera? And you ate it. That's disgusting. Okay. So, Wednesday, February 19th, variety show, mass singer competition. This dude here, he's going to be in there singing. I don't know what's going on there. Make sure you're there. Tickets, $5 pre-sale, $7 at the door. We'll see you there.